Joshua from Tesla Owners US and I have here again my favorite technician and this time this is the last technical piece or the last physical piece let me say a technical piece and that's that solenoid and that's what we want to replace uh, it's still making some problems the uh, some problems sometimes but in most of the times it's all good but also made the uh, suspension uh, static uh, that's what we want to have a look. All right. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future. Here we go. Taking it apart. All over here. Like usual. We want to check later if we need to pop it up. Everything needs to go. So as I said, that's the last physical piece. There's another control unit, which is very much uh, under the, in the inside, under the board. But we are not going there yet. So we have everything what we need. And we want to check that physical part out. And let me remind you, here it is. And I have to check first the labels here for it. Should I put it on here? No. Let's put yep. it on here. the wire here don't forget this that needs to go as well the wire yeah yes so where is this sucker all the way down there man okay Okay, we decided to move the car in stances, so that's easier to get to it. And we had a little problem with the unit because it looks like the colors don't match up, but we have to match up the colors with the unit here. So, I mean, which colors? These colors here, they don't match up. So, but I think the colors how they are in the unit that's what we have to do and then we have to remove the boards here from below in order to get to the unit so JJ tell me you are trying to remove the cables there the, the wires there or the pipes yep. right mm -hmm. and everyone is separate there are six of them yeah and then we have to remember how oh, they were. <laughs> there could be air coming out. And uh, you see the part there? It probably stays in the bracket there. And then there's a connector that's been loosed. And we have those stances here so that the whole car does not 
uh, it's for safety of fall on us or something falls on us and this is what we have to remove the connector is already removed now we have to take the piece out and yeah, we'll be coming out of that all well, pipes are being removed here we are you see that face plate there I think we got orange the face plate to the colors there. It makes it a little bit easier. There's a face plate on it, and on the face plate, uh, the uh, solenoid is being attached to that face plate. So you're gonna remove that solenoid. There are two bolts uh, keeping the solenoid to the face plate, but the face plate has the color coding on it. So basically, you can never mistake him uh, to do it wrong. So as long as the connector is on the right side and you are connecting all of the pipes correctly, you should be all fine and good. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, we take all of the bolts out from both sides and then we can take the solenoid out. Okay, we have to take the new valves out. They are all the plastics for that sort of protections and then we can put it from the back into the face plate there and see let's see if that's enough yeah, it seems to yeah it is so then we have to do the same thing screw it on again yeah so here's the same string as a, as on the struts there are those white line markings so that you don't have to you don't put the pipe too much in and then you have to tighten it so that's what we have to consider don't put them too much in or too loose it needs to be between those two white markings at the pipe yeah sometimes it's better to take them a little bit out before you can put them back in so that's the clean pipe. And then it's again the right mark. So we have to do it with all six. So let me say that in your show. This label, what's here on top of it, it doesn't fit with it. The colors don't match up with the colors on the faceplate. So be oriented in this way with the colors on the faceplate and not with the colors on the label. There are also colors, there's a red pipe. We don't have one, we have a purple, so the colors really don't match up. So just check the colors in the face plate then. Okay, we are on the last one here of those six points. Watch the markings. For the big test, fill up the service valve here. I think may already be full. Yeah? Yeah. So I didn't lose any pressure through the black line because it's connected to the... Uh, to the blue line. The black line is like purge. But this line... I didn't lose any pressure through this line because it goes into the compressor which has its own solenoid. So ah. it's a possibility that the tank is still full. So it's Thanks, it could be still cool. Yeah, 140. 140, yes. Thank you for But we're still going to support it because it's got a lot of air to fill. Yeah. They're going to start the car, right? Here a second. Oh, we need to fill this one first. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to make sure that we can feed it as much as it needs. Okay, we are very satisfied because the car already went all the way up. As you can see here in high, and we're good to go. I think we now have to do a test drive and see if there are any messages coming. This is lifted up. Yeah, here the stance is a couple of inch higher. Yeah. So now put the plates back on, put it back together. Yeah. A 
Okay. Yeah, that's the piece. Do you need it? Nope. Come throw it in the trash, yeah? Yep. Unless you want it. No. This small piece is here. Those plugs, plastic plugs. We now have to strategically place them because they are really falling apart. And some of them is screwed, but many one of them is just clipped in. I need to get to Tesla to get new ones. Here you go. Put it back together. Put the tray in. Connect the wire and then put the bolts in. Yeah. And that big two bolts. It's all of the connectors. <laughs> Oh, I could have connected here. Then a 50 amp. You have a 50 amp on that. Mm -hmm. Wunderbar. So, we are back. And it's basically too hot here in Arizona. That's why we're doing it always in the morning. So it and it was quick. Yeah. It really was quick. It's yeah. a one and a half hours, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's one and a half hours and uh, yeah, we say thank you to, thank you to the perfect technician. So I think he did thousands of times <laughs> to take the trunk out and uh, we got really access to that. We immediately noticed that uh, suspension comes all the way up. We put it on high. Hey. Cool. Uh, if you like that, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Yeah. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.